Hello guys, this is uh, Mr. Max Bovey, and today I wanted to make uh, an introduction about myself, this little video about who I am and uh, what to expect from this channel. And if you have been this, uh, on, on, in this side of the hobby, you, you're looking for video on YouTube about uh, RPG that are less pro-SJW, let's say anti-SJW, you might have seen me in chat and the streams or my comments put on the screen, stuff like that. I've been evolving in those channels for quite a while. Uh, you think of the guy from RP Gate and the, and the Table Breaker and Gatekeeper, like um, Legend of Myth and DM James, On Guard of Star Ryan, Vegas Geekus, Bruce Lombardo, many others. I'm not gonna name them all. So I've been watching those guys for a while and I like those guys. But sometimes I do have some different opinion. And sometimes it's opinion that don't really fit in. Um, in, in a stream chat with limit of 200 characters something I want to expand a little more upon or explain myself so I decided to make this channel and also to be frank this channel is also to get a little practice speaking English especially in the winter here I don't get to interact with many people uh, sometimes it can be days or weeks without me talking to any human being so my mouth tends to get lazy so I guess I Maybe talking to a camera is going to help uh, not lose. Because English is not my first language, as you might have guessed. But uh, I'd like to get, the, get more used to it. So that's why that's a big part of the reason why I'm doing this channel. And those people that are more on the, like I would say, we would say right side or right wing uh, side of the hobby. They often have like a taste that are conservative, like I would call basic bitch conservative without like meaning any disrespect. And I'm not a conservative for the simple reason that I see that there's nothing left to conserve. Everything like society now is shit. And everything that we liked, everything that was great about the, the society we had has been basically destroyed. So that's why the name of the channel is Reactionary Principle Gaming. Because I do see myself as a reactionary in the sense that I believe we need to go back. Not only we need to stay where we are, we need to undo the progress that the progressive have done. And gaming, because I do want this channel to be about gaming. I am a very political guy, but I don't feel like talking politics all the time. So this channel is supposed to be about gaming, but it will be about gaming maybe with a bit of a political bent to it. And this reactionary principle applies to gaming very much because, you know, I'm not a 5e hater. I think 5th edition Dungeon & Dragon is not my favorite system, but it's a pretty decent system. It's a playable game. I would make some house rule to make it a little more deadly and stuff like that. That's never here or there. But you see a movement of that call themselves sometime like O5R, that want to play 5e, but as it was released when just the core book were out, or just before everything before Tasha, they have some different uh, limitation I guess they can put for themselves. That's in a way, a reactionary way of looking at that game. And the OSR is the same thing. It's people say, we don't like the modern gaming. We don't like what has been done to modern games, to the modern RPG. So we want to go back. We want to go back to Beckme, or we want to go back to new system that has uh, that have um, OSR sensibility, that have like old school sensibility. And you see that we also with people that stick with 3E. You no, know? so that's why that's why I think it's it's this uh, reactionary principle is re is really relevant, and it's especially relevant when a new edition is uh, announced. To tell people you don't have to jump to the new edition, you don't have to follow the bandwagon, you don't have to do what um, the big corporation want you to do. If you have already have the books, you can keep playing with the books you have. You can create your own content for it. There's nothing they can do ab about it. You can buy used books online too. Like some people will make the move and will get rid of their old old edition, that old edition. But those books are still perfectly usable so that's uh the way i see thing and that's 
what I want to promote on this channel. I might do sometimes some games review. Uh, I'm, I don't think I'm going to do any uh, DM advice. There's plenty of people online offering those. Maybe they have something new to say that hasn't been said somewhere else. Maybe I'm going to have an idea, so never say never. But mostly what I want to analyze here is the culture around gaming, about, around uh, the TTRPG hobby. And I do have some different view about that. Uh, something that is said a lot is don't buy books or don't buy products from people who hate you. And I agree with that, obviously. But I will also add don't play games with people who hate you. Or don't play game with people that would send you the Golag given the chance. You know, if the only chance, if the only reason that they are not trying to send you to the Gulag is that they not they are not in power, that's not good enough. You know, you don't have to be civil to those people. You don't have to you don't have to DM, you don't have to run a game for those people, or you don't have to join those people's games. Those people game are pretty shit anyway, so you probably don't wanna have to do anything to do with them. And I would also say don't play with people that force you to self-censor, force you to think twice about what you have to say. You know those people that are so pissy about what kind of word you can use around them and how you need to address them and or people that cause you like a, like a cognitive dissonance, you know. You see them, maybe you see, you see them in a certain way, but you have to pretend that you don't because otherwise it's going to make them uncomfortable. Yeah, don't associate with those people. They're, gonna, they're not going to be no fun to be around, and they're going to ruin everybody's fun. So just don't just disinvite them from your table. There's nothing wrong with that, you know. For the RPG as a hobby, it's the time we have to have fun. It's something we, we should do with friends. So don't bend the knee. Stay strong, and see you around. Thank you.